Back to a story I told you earlier on where attention is now rising in Mandera County with some residents being forced to leave their homes after Somalia National Army troops were spotted taking positions along the border a day after Somalia made an announcement cutting its diplomatic ties with Kenya and Kenya making new agreements with Somaliland including opening a consulate in Hagesa. Our reporter David Kagina with more. Hours after a fallout between Kenya and Somalia, after what the Somali's Minister for Information, Osman Duby, termed as constant interference with the country's internal affairs and undermining of the country's sovereignty, tension is now rising along the common border. Residents have reported seeing Somalian National Army troops taking strategic positions along the Kenya-Somalia border. The move, including placing technical vehicles at the border point three, has forced locals to start leaving their homes. Somalia has announced that it will in the next seven days withdraw all its diplomats from Kenya, with the Kenyan government responding saying it will not retaliate. So there is a committee that has been put in place to be able to look at those issues that are you know, uh, coming in between these two neighboring countries that have got a lot of you know, um, history between, of, between the two of them to be, to be addressed. While this unfolded, President Kenyatta invited President of Somaliland Musa Bihi Abdi to Kenya making several bilateral agreements, chief among them, opening a consulate in Hargeisa in Somaliland, a move seen as a direct violation to Somali's sovereignty. The two presidents have agreed on a plan to have direct flights with the Kenya Airways and other Kenyan airlines between Nairobi and Hargeisa by the end of March 2021. Citizens of the two nations will apply for a visa and receive visa on arrival by end of March 2021. The two nations have agreed on implementing of exchange programs involving students, agricultural officers, doctors, nurses and other professionals. Early in the year, Kenyan's expert preempted the fallout pointing fingers to Somalia's President Mohamed Farmajo. President Farmajo has almost vowed in his heart that he will never have peace with Kenya. This is a president who is insulting the blood of our sons and daughters who have died in El Ade and other points in Somalia, trying to, re to liberate that country from terrorism and from terrorists from Al-Shabaab and telling people, trying to tell, pe trying to tell the people of his country that Kenya is, is interfering with, his, with their sovereignty. How do you tell someone who came to help you stand? This Farmajo would never find election if Kenya didn't do what they, they did. The two cases have already been filed in court by Somalia, one of them International Court of Justice of a territorial dispute concerning the maritime delimitation. David Kagina, Switch TV.